Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Universal Maths. In this video, I'll try to explain the solution of this problem. But before setting, close the video, try yourself, of course. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. So let's get started. We have to find out the area of this trapezium. And uh, all thing that what I'm gonna do is to draw two line segments. Here the first one and here is the second one. And we can see that this line is equal to these two lines. When is it true? This is true with the right angle triangle and this is also an altitude here we can see so this angle is 90 degrees so next thing we're going to know that it, this angle will be 45 degrees because this angle is 90 degrees and this will be also 45 degrees which means that if these sides will be a a and a this side will be a square root of 2 and this side will be equal to square root of 2 again and we know that if this angle will be alpha this angle will be also alpha here we can find out the cosine alpha here from the triangle aed and cosine alpha will be equal to your 10 over a square root of 2 and from the triangle EBC, the sine alpha will be equal to 6 over a square root of 2. And the only thing that we'll know that sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha is equal to 1. And we, we can put here, instead of cosine alpha and sine alpha, the values we found. So it will be 100 over a 2a squared it will be 2a squared plus 36 over again 2a squared it will be equal to 1 and now we can find out a squared and 2a squared will be equal to 136 now uh, I'll not find out a here because we need the area the area of the trapezium I write down trapezium will be equal to uh, AD plus BC over T times the altitude it is 16. And it will be equal to AD plus BC times A. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is to find out A. D and BC. So we'll find out them. So ED will be equal to the square root of 2A squared minus 100, which means that we're given that 2 square, 2A squared equals to 136, that means AD will be equal to 6 and the same way we can find out the BC and it will be equal to 10. Now we can find out the trapezium's area and it will be equal to 16 times 8, that is 8 times 8, 64, 128. And this is the right answer. If you like the solution, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. Thank you for your attention. See you soon in the next videos.